Okay, we're on in five, four, three, two, one. And hello, Washington. Welcome to your new sound of soul, W-O-L. I'm Dewey Hughes, director of programming, here to announce that Sonny Jim can now be heard at the midnight hour after the Nighthawk show. Today I introduce to you a new voice on the DC scene, a native of Washington, a true son of the city, and some may say a prophet of the streets. Here to spin the tunes that will blow your mind, Mr. Petey Green. Say hello, Petey. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, like the man say, this is Petey Green, and I'm here to spin the tunes to get you through your morning. <coughs> your AM morning drive. Uh, but hell, maybe you ain't driving, maybe you're walking. Maybe, maybe you at work already, maybe you riding a bike. But <coughs> regardless, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the music that's gonna keep you going and I hope I don't bore you with, <clears throat> with my rambling. Say the call letters. The call letters, y'all. It's nerves, man. I'm nervous. I'm nervous or not. You better get your ass back in there. My ass is on the line. I don't want to hear some Sonny Jim knockoff. I want P. Green, no, damn it. Stop putting your goddamn hands on me, man. I ain't no punk, fool. Well, stop acting like one and get back in there before this song ends. Move, man. That was a little funk to get you through your morning, over your yawning, put the pep in your step, and the glide in your stride. Well, over the break, I was asked to be myself. So who is Peter Green? Well, I got an eighth grade education with a PhD from the streets. I'm a recovering alcoholic, been sober five hours. But I ain't touched a needle in over eight years, y'all. That's right, kicked hair on dead in his ass. I've been incarcerated over half my life, most recently down there at Lawton. My mama been in jail for 30 years, and as we speak, my dad is pulling 21 in Alcatraz. I am an all-around hustler, and some of my best friends is pimps, whores, and gamblers. But I guess that don't make me no different than Barry Gordy. And hell, that brother own a label. <laughs> I'm in pretty good company. Maybe I'll own a label one day, y'all. P-Town. So this is me, y'all. And you ain't got to worry about me giving you nothing but the show enough, because that's all I know. This is P-Town, y'all. Are you out of your mind saying those things about Barry Gordy? Oh, man, I ain't said nothing that black folk don't already know. You will apologize immediately, or I pull the plug on this whole sorry mess. What? I will apologize. Now! You said you wanted Petey Green, man. Just apologize. Just apologize. You know what? You're wearing Tell you what, man. And you need a haircut, tramp. Open the mic. Sorry I had to break in now on you, ladies and gentlemen. I know you was enjoying it, too. But in all seriousness, folks, uh, 
I gotta apologize about something that I said a little earlier that upset some folks. I gotta apologize to Mr. Barry Gordy for making him out to be a hustler and a pimp. Mr. Gordy is a very important man, and he's done a great deal. I mean, I love the way he takes the little brothers and sisters, broke down runaways, the downtrodden from the projects, and he gets them off the streets. Then he puts a few dollars in their pockets, teaches them how to talk and how to walk, and sends them right back out there to bring him a whole lot of money. So I'm sorry if in any way I made him out to be a pimp. That ain't pimping, y'all. That's just good old-fashioned hit me. Studio One. So why don't we hear us another one of them good old-fashioned... Mr. Sonderling, Motown's DC reps on the line. Yeah. And again, I sincerely apologize, Mr. Barry Gordy, from the bottom of my heart. This is Petey Green.